toxic kings and queens welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today we got miss bad baby rick Rouse, we got kodak black and we got jack boy all right we got some beef we got some great amazing news let's start with kodak black so as y'all know kodak black recently went on his stories to throw shots at jack boy and this is what he said People be hurt when they can't be your friend no more. They start doing a little pussy and hating ish and lying on your name. Try bringing you down with them. Because they really need you for real. So if you can't be their friend no more, all their emotion gone and they lose hope. All right, so that's basically to Jack Boy. He also went on his stories and put, Everybody notice now how you throw the Z's up. This guy, an imposter. I tat a cross on my forehead. He go put a cross on his too, laugh out loud. This boy with jit wannabe so bad. Who the F brought him home? Guys ain't got no stripes out here. So he's throwing more shots at Jack Boy on his stories, y'all. It's getting spicy. So y'all already know Jack Boy had did a diss track to Kodak Black. And when I tell y'all I listened to it, he violated Kodak Black. No wonder why he on his stories throwing shots at Jack Boy. Wonder why. Now, if y'all didn't go listen to that diss track, make sure y'all go listen to that diss track because he went in. He also said this on his <laughs> on the diss track. You the only n faking neck and like you about to spin. Your a federal agent protected by the president. <laughs> Yo, if y'all do not know what he talking about, this is what he talking about. Remember when Kodak Black tweeted this? I want to thank the president, Donald Trump, for his commitment to justice reform and shortening my sentence. I also want to thank everyone for their support and love. It means more than you will ever know. I want to continue giving back, learning, and growing. <laughs> I mean, they used to be friends, so, I mean, you know, turn left. But Jack Boy went on his stories to say, having all type of motion, restaurant on the way. So he doing his business thing. Somebody said, they might as well be friends again. Like, it's obvious they want to be friends again. That's why they always speaking about each other. Somebody else says, y'all still going on this stuff? Lame, if you ask me. I'll never throw dirt on my main man's name. This is foul play. Y'all could have hashed it out off the net. But y'all already know everybody bring it to the net. Yak don't like to see none of his dogs winning. No yak. Basically, that's what Jack Boy said in this track also. So I don't know what's going to go on with these boys because that's clearly what they acting like. You know, the industry always got some type of beef. But let me know down in the comments below what y'all think is going to happen. You think they're going to get active or you think this is just for the internet? All right, now we got Miss Bad Baby. Y'all already know she 19 now. She doing her business thing. And this is something new. I I actually kind of think that's really great that she's using $1.7 million for educational purposes. I really think that's good. She knows she's got of age now. She's doing her thing. And look what people have to say on Twitter. No shade. This is actually very good. All right. So everybody is, you know, applauding her. She not obligated to pay for nobody education. It's not her fault y'all broke. Being a hater ain't my thing. Maybe y'all should try it. Mm. Say what you want about Bad Baby, but her dropping 1.7 mil of scholarships for school is respectable. And that's on top of her not being the biggest artist out there. Purr. If you see me listening to Bad Baby, don't even question me. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> Now we got a wreck of Rouse, okay? He goes on his Instagram, posts him and Jake Paul, and says this. Since everyone seems to be afraid to fight Jake Paul, I'm down to put another $10 million on top to make the right match happen. What fight would you want to see? We talking big sh on the homie podcast, so stay tuned. Someone says, stop acting. Ain't nobody scared to fight him. He just ain't fought no real steppers. Like, for real, for real. Somebody also said, y'all, you need to take 10 mil and pay your employee a decent wage. Fight a real boxer, an undefeated fighter. I bet you Jay Paul will put his tail between his legs. Quick, his name is T.Y.G. Jr. T.Y.G. Official. 
17 0 11 KOs. Jake Paul will be number 12. Put your money where your mouth is. Out, up, or shut up. Shots fired. Let's see. All right, y'all. So if y'all do not know who TYG official is, this is him right here. He boxed it out. So if y'all think Jake Paul is going to go against him, let me know down in the comments below. Or who would y'all like to see Jake Paul fight, y'all? Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this, all right? Because I feel like Bad Baby is doing a great, amazing job with what she's about to do with these mills, all right? Rick Ross, he out here spending $10 million on a fight when his employees, they stealing shit from... Look, I just cannot. I don't know what's going on with Jack Boy and Kodak Black, but let me know down in the comments below what y'all think is going to happen with them, all right? Make sure y'all like, make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, because y'all already know when I drop, I got y'all to the loop.